a good one. The background to the Vinci ring is that um, my husband, then boyfriend, um, had been designing something entirely different that had nothing to do with the Vinci ring. And we were driving around North Carolina and I was holding this, like, this ring in my hand, awkwardly, like between two fingers, spinning it compulsively. And I realized when we were on the plane home to California that we had to create something that fit better in your hand, that felt natural, and that people could just play with. And that's when we made the first prototype. It was just like made of brass on a lathe. And every time someone would see it, they were intrigued. They wanted to hold it. They wanted to spin it around. They wanted to know where they could get one. What is this? Is this from a skateboard? What's this bearing? And I realized that we had to put it out in the world because it's such a nice thing to have. It's not more cheap plastic crap. It's a really nice quality product that hopefully people will have forever. Or that you could just give away. My husband would have one and he'd meet someone who found it intriguing or who realized they could really use one and and he would just give it to them. And I think that's beautiful. Every Vinci ring we make is like spins a little differently. We assemble them by hand. And so it's really fun to see the way it changes depending on the weather, depending on the moisture in the air. For me, it's really fun because it spins really well on an airplane and I'm not a scientist, so I can't tell you why, but it's very convenient because that happens to be when I need it the most because I have a terrible fear of flight. Also, if you're out and about and you're used to having a drink in your hand, it's kind of nice to have just something to play with if you're in a social situation that not everyone's necessarily very comfortable in. Uh, or if you're quitting smoking, if you're a fidgeter in general, if you like to tap your fingers, um, click pens, bite your nails. Love that sound, it'll spin for like several seconds. And people, it's nice, it's nice to see how different people spin it in different ways. So I, I like to do like a nice, hard, long spin. Ooh. <laughs> I like to do like an <laughs> Some people like to just sort of hold it and like feel the friction of each bearing in their fingers like as they sit and concentrate. We have three material options which I think reflect different tastes. There's the brass which is very classic, hefty, it develops nice patina over time so it starts to feel like an antique quite quickly but it still spins really nicely. The titanium one is a little techier, it's a little more lightweight, it's invincible. My husband loves titanium because he thinks it's just like the cat's pajamas. And then there's gold and the gold is very special because it's classic, it's heavy, it's inert. It could sit at the bottom of the ocean for a lifetime and come up looking good as new. And although it may get dense if you drop it, the ceramic bearings we put inside are so much harder than the gold itself that if you just spin it, it gets its groove back and it's self-healing, which is amazing. We call it the Vinci Ring in honor of the inventor and artist Leonardo da Vinci. He created things that were essential and timeless. And the Vinci Ring differentiates itself from other fidget toys by being a beautiful piece of jewelry. He said that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. And I think that the Vinci Ring really embodies that. You're a woman on the go. You live life out of your bag. You want something suitable for every occasion. Something that's professional enough to bring that laptop that's attached to your hip to work, but chic enough to go out after work. Introducing our first product, the Tracy by Tara. Our larger tote can hold up to a 13 inch laptop when you need it at work. We have a smaller zip off clutch, so you can just grab your basics and go. No more bags within bags. So next time you need to step out for lunch, drinks, or run an errand during the day, you don't have to lug everything with you. You can just take this. It can be worn in three different ways. A shoulder bag, a backpack, and a crossbody. And converts between them in a snap.
feel like a boss when you enter the room. You can wear it as a backpack walking to work and convert it to a shoulder bag before you enter and give your next presentation. My name is Julia Lamb. I'm a former Facebook employee and the founder of Tar & Co. I created Tar & Co because like so many other women, I had a busy life where I ran from meeting to meeting to social event back to a meeting and felt like the accessories in my life really didn't work for me. They either made me look really good but weren't practical or they were too practical and didn't make me look very good. And I wanted both. Tar & Co has been a really collaborative process. We're a team of designers, mechanical engineers, and women like you. I grew up in the Silicon Valley and I've been working in startups for the last few years, so I approach building a bag very similar to building a startup. We talked to hundreds of women and had them take a survey on what they liked and what they didn't like about their current bags. We sent these women home with the bags to test out in their everyday lives. They would take them to work, to the park, on trips, and just make sure that it really worked for them. I spent hours in three leather markets touching every piece of leather until we found the perfect one that was smooth, had enough texture to be interesting, and was soft against your skin. We're naming all of our accessories after women who inspire us. And so our first bag is named after Tracy Chow, who's a former Pinterest engineer, entrepreneur, and amazing diversity advocate. She was able to get 250 companies to release their diversity numbers, so we could finally have a real conversation about women and inclusion. That's why we admire her, and that's why we really wanted to name this bag after her. The Tracy comes with two padded pockets for your devices, two expandable pockets, two zippered pockets, and places to easily access your phone, headphones, keys, lip gloss, sunglasses, pens, cords, and more. It's organized for you, so you don't have to be organized. Today, we're releasing two additional clutches in lava red and cerulean teal to brighten up your life. Inspired by trailblazing women, designed for you. Tara, style for your life. How would you describe luxury sunglasses? High quality, great design, highly protective lens, made of precious metal or acetate. We agree with the first three, but not with the last one. Why there is no luxury sunglasses made of natural materials? Loose fabric is set out to break this rule. We are inspired to elevate the sustainable fashion idea and create high quality sunglasses by perfectly combining wood and stone. Our design team is inspired by the beauty of Eastern wooden architecture and that of the Western stone heritage. After researches and adjustment, we introduce them with a modern design and optimal shapes. The Slate Soul Collection. Here is how we make it. Wheels Fabric uses a layering technology originated in Germany to enhance the quality of the sunglasses. This technique makes sunglasses more durable, more elastic, and not as easily broken as using a whole piece of wood. Wheels Fabric sunglasses are simply and perfectly made of wood, stone, and glues. We use CNC machine to ensure the precision detail, and it is the most eco-friendly way because it maximizes the yield of materials. Every pair of Hills Fabric sunglasses is sanded with three different grades of sandpaper and coated with high quality oil and wax. For the key of every optical products, lenses, we use Tice, one of the highest quality manufacturer of lenses in the world. Here is our full collection. For people who want to be different but don't want to be exaggerated, we present you the Stonehenge. Classical alignment of Stonehenge qualify it as the most low-key but unique model of our collection. The anchor holds the opposite character. The semi ribless presentation shows its wild and extravagant characteristics. If you're not satisfied with the first two models, Horo Yuji is the best for you. The specially picked reddish grey slate perfectly matches the light brown artwork. It is to be worn by the most stylish people. For the past two years, we have been creating timepieces made of wood. This year, we want to enforce this natural revolution and create more unique pieces for you. Our manufacturer is ready. All we need is your initial support. Make a pledge and get the stone sunglasses at founder price. Thank you very much.
Boldfoot. We are an American small business. Like so many of you, we support local and small batch and handcrafted every chance we get. Because when people care, it shows. And what we care about is socks. Not just good socks, not just above average socks, but great socks. It's all we know. Making a great pair of socks really boils down to just two things. Starting with high quality materials and partnering with manufacturers that don't cut corners. So we use the best of the best, and all right here in America. Our dress socks are made with Supima cotton. Only the top 3% of all cotton sourced can carry the Supima label. And our new athletic styles are made with the same materials that brands like Nike and Under Armour use in their socks. And we're proud to say that all of our products are made right here in North Carolina. Our suppliers live, eat, and breathe hosiery. If something goes wrong with a the product they made, they want to hear every detail so the problem can be solved. And we do too. That's why we offer three months of free sock insurance with every purchase. Protection from rips, holes, and tears. You're not likely to need it, but it's there for you just in case. And if for any reason you're still not happy, just tell us and we'll provide a full refund. There's no sense in putting your hard-earned money on the table if you're not going to get the product you envisioned. So sure, our supply chain does cost us a bit more, but it's worth it. Since we launched right here on Kickstarter in 2014, we've had thousands of happy customers. Best on the market, they'll say. The only sock brand I'll ever purchase, they tell us. It's really quite flattering, and we're honored to put a good product on their feet. Go check out our reviews and see for yourself. But our customers want more. We want to do more. Over the next few months, we plan to launch new colors, new designs, extra large men's sizes, women's styles, and athletics. But manufacturing requires capital, and that's exactly why you're here watching this. With your help, we'll be able to launch all the new products our customers desire, and perhaps a few surprises along the way. So join me and climb aboard the American-made bandwagon. Support our Kickstarter and help us create the Boldfoot brand of the future. Thank you so much.